what up what up what up so on today's installment of how i booked it we're going to be talking about how i booked the role in the fujifilm commercial now what's been happening a lot more frequently especially in commercials is that instead of getting a rough uh, version of what could potentially be the commercial what's starting to happen a lot more you're starting to see it way more often is that a lot of uh, casting companies are basically either giving you a beat for beat of what the commercial actually is going to be or a section of already finished dialogue or scenarios or scenes for the commercial. So in this particular instance, when I was doing the audition for the technician role um, for Fujifilm, it was, I want to say, like 99% accurate to uh, what we ended up shooting in the in the actual commercial itself. So for this one in particular, I, the, the thing about uh, recapping these is that I'm not doing it like right afterwards. I'm trying to remember how everything went. And I believe they only, well, they didn't say that they only wanted, but I could have just sent in one take um, for the role of technician. And um, with this particular one, I just felt like I should do two different takes. And with the different takes, I wanted to do one that um, played up a lot more shock of what was happening. And another one that kind of played it as this is just yet another unfortunate side effect and um, issue that we're having uh, with this product. And believe it or not, the, the shocked one was the one that I thought was going to be the one that kind of like gave me my best chance. But it turned out that the direction that they ended up going with in the final commercial was more so of my second take, where it was like, okay, we've been down this road multiple times uh, with this product, and this is just another unfortunate circumstance. So not for nothing, my second take is what ended up booking me the role. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy both audition tapes and, again, the final product. As I was saying, it comes packing a 100 gigapixel motor and oh my god. Oh, oh my mouth was open when it uh. <coughs> All right. Going to have to take note of that. Oh. As I was saying, it comes packing a 100 gigapixel motor that there it goes. Hmm. I don't expect it, but Definitely disappointing. Later. Some of our test subjects' reactions to H2S have been a bit more explosive than we anticipated. As I was saying, the body comes packing a 26.1 megapixel stacked BSI sensor. Er. And if you look right here, we finally have that full HDMI Type A port. Lost another one. Not to mention it has internal 4K 120p and 6.2K 30p. You feeling okay? Oh, uh, yeah, just taking it all in. Wait, this records ProRes and Blackmagic Cinema Raw? It does? In any case, nothing some firmware can't fix. 